Welcome back here to this to my channel of an everyday life of an aspect. If you're following me and you're new to my channel, I welcome you all. I'm Aspie. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stories, basically, of especially syndrome, OCD, and the like, along with tips and advice for your general health versus your mental health. I also do some other in between bits and pieces, like lifestyle vlogs, if and when I can, and some fun activities. So if you're into that sort of stuff, smash that like button as well as clicking the subscribe button to join me on this journey with me as an Aspie. And venturing with me on what is to come along with basically also just giving me the heads up of the comments of where you guys are at so it has been put to my attention and it shared that at this current time i'm trying to do as much as i can based on these negative feelings how to deal with all these negative feelings as a series as well as like i said these psychopathic and narcissistic kind of series which will be on the back burner just for now so i can focus on one at a time as always so to do more research on it as well so if you're still into that just let me know below or even feel free to comment below of any other topics that need to be addressed because i'm wanting to engage with you all and actually let you guys take part somehow one way or another because I'm hoping for this channel to be user friendly and also not to be judged of any way possible. So this one's obviously all about how to overcome guilt. Obviously, I'm sure that I have already talked a little bit briefly about guilt, or one of which would be, would have been probably how to deal with guilt. So it's a following continuation on from that as part of the series. So hopefully you'll and I will learn something on the way today as I educate you all. And let's begin this before I run out of time. As I said before, that many of these negative emotions can be healthy if it's used in a positive way, regardless how we do it. Sometimes we can do it in a way of an outlet that we could scream, shout, prance on someone or whatever. Well, not prance on someone as such, but maybe prance on a pillow or something and fight it out of stress. But in this case, though, guilt can be a really depressing feeling that prevents you from moving forward with your life. Sometimes you may even feel, if you do, if we dwell on it for too long or too much of it, that we eventually stuck, be stuck in a rut and have no direction in life of not knowing where we're going to be or how we're going to choose to live our life in a way that we want to, you know, succeed and actually be happy and at peace in ourselves. It may be difficult to understand how we can stop the negative feelings. And dealing with our past actions, thoughts, or past something we said in the past that has turned us to be guilty of it or whatever. As we know, sometimes there's a cause of an action to a reaction. So therefore, we need to be in mind of this. And however, in this video or video article that I'm hoping to guide you through today, the processes of how to overcome guilt and how you can move forward forward towards a positive future these will be broken into two parts which one is part one is standing the guilt and part two will be obviously moving on from that past guilt that you may be feeling so let's begin this part one understanding guilt understand the purpose of the guilt most of the time we feel guilty because we've done or said something that has caused harm to someone else this type of guilt helps you to understand when you may be at fault for something which is healthy and is the most normal Know where the guilt has stemmed from or what triggered you to feel guilty in the first place. For example, if you forget a friend's birthday, you might feel guilty because friends are expected to remember and celebrate their friend's birthdays with them. This is healthy, a healthy type of guilt because it alerts you to something you have failed to do so that may have damaged your relationship with the person, but then again, it may not. They may be able to forgive you and, you know, you can make up to them by maybe the following day after their birthday, shut them out, lunch, or shut them out a coffee or something maybe as a term of apology number two recognize unproductive guilt sometimes we may feel good when we don't need to feel guilty this type of guilt is not an, is an unhealthy or unproductive guilt because it's not serving a purpose and it's way it stems from it just makes us feel bad for example if you were feeling guilty because you had to work on your friend's birthday and couldn't attend to his or her party this would be an example sample of this unhealthy guilt that you feel if you were scheduled to work and can't take time off for a birthday party we got to remember this is beyond our control and beyond our expectations despite it all sometimes we need the world to survive but then again we need to balance out what we want to do versus what we don't want to do so to speak 
your friend should be able to understand and be forgiving to you that you had missed his or her party in order to keep your job. But make sure when it comes to it, not to overdo it and actually think, you know, money comes before friends and family or whatever other relationships that comes into play. Also, many people tend to do that. And there's another example that could ruin your chances of it. Number three, identify what you feel guilty about. If you feel guilty about something, it's important to identify what you feel what you feel guilty about and why. The causes and triggers, or even this knowing and identifying these sources <coughs> or causes of your guilt and why it makes you feel guilty can help you determine if you are experiencing healthy or unhealthy guilt. Either way, you will need to work through these feelings in order to overcome them. Number four, write down about your feelings. Journaling, journaling can be a good source about writing about your guilt or any other negative emotions that comes to play, you know, and then you can refer it back because once we do this, it will help us to start to understand the fe negative feelings and also how to deal with it later on. Maybe we can start by writing the re down the reasons to why we're feeling guilty. If it was something you did or said to someone, Maybe you could start it off with that and then maybe branch it out to describe what happened in as much detail as you can. Include in your description how the situation made you feel and why. What do you think that you should feel guilty about? What you shouldn't feel guilty about? And is there a way that you can resolve it? A classic example is you might be able to write the reasons to why you forgot your friend's birthday. The clear example of being sharing with you all. What was going on that distracted you? How did your friend react? How did that make you feel, etc., etc.? Number five, apologize if necessary. Once you have determined whether or not the guilt is healthy or unhealthy, you can determine if you need to apologize for your own actions or thoughts or even what you said. In this case, again, for this classic example of forgetting about your friend's birthday, you should apologize because you failed to do something that friends are supposed to do. Make sure that your apology is sincere and honest and you don't make any excuses for that for your own actions. It's important to take full responsibility for your own actions in order to show your friend that you're mature and actually showing your friend that you do really feel bad about this. Say something simple like, I am really sorry for, add in to what you're sorry for. And then maybe say after that, is there a way that you can forgive me? and whatnot. Number six, reflect on the situation to prevent a similar one that will happen, that hopefully won't happen in the future. After you've considered your guilt and turned to violent source and apologised if necessary, you should take some time to reflect on your actions, attitude, behaviours and the like in order to prevent a similar situation to occur in the future. Reflecting when you have done something wrong can help you to grow from the experience and learn from it rather than keep on making the same mistakes. For example, after reflecting on the experience of, again, forgetting your friend's birthday, you might decide that in the future you need to be more careful about remembering important dates and to take steps to prevent a similar situation in the future. So in this case, if you've forgotten your friend's birthday, you would always either A, text them or Facebook them maybe, you say, to wish them a happy birthday so they know that you were thinking about them on their special day, or you could later on, if you were working on that day of their special day, you could buy rights. Maybe if they're not doing anything with their family or whoever that was planned, maybe to spend time with them or even, you know, on your lunch break the following day, if it's on a work day of their of birthday too. Part two, moving past guilt. Number one, change guilt into gratitude. Feeling guilty may cause you to think guilty thoughts, which are obviously unproductive and again will start, make you stuck in a rut if you dwell on them for too long and don't provide you with anything that you can apply for to your words, your future behaviours, attitudes, actions, and whatnot. Instead of, instead of that, try turning your guilty thoughts into gratitude thoughts. A classic example, again, if you forgot your friend's birthday, you might think to yourself, I should have remembered that yesterday it was his or her birthday. This thought doesn't allow you to improve on your situation. It may, just makes you feel worse for forgetting your friend's birthday. Change the guilt statements to positive ones, such as that I'm grateful for the reminder that my friends are important to me and a chance to demonstrate that to them in the future. Number two, forgive yourself. Don't be forever hard on yourself just because you've forgotten just one simple thing like your friend's birth. And again, as I said before, clearly that you can always make room for improvement. Forgiving yourself just like you would forgive a friend is also, is also important of learning how to deal with guilt. It will help you to 
learn more about not just how to deal with the guilt, but learn more about yourself, learn more by just growing in yourself. If you're dealing with guilt that stems from things that you first start to forgive you for or things that are beyond your control, you need, you need to learn to forgive yourself. One way that you can begin to move past your guilt is to forgive yourself whenever you make a mistake, just like you would forgive a dear friend that is closest to you. Next time you feel good about something, take a deep breath and stop beating yourself up. It's just saying something like, I made a mistake. It's just to say something like, I made a mistake, but that doesn't make me a bad person. Number three, take a lesson from the fictional character, here's that example, Scarlett O'Hara. Because of this quote, after all, tomorrow is a matter of day. Realize each day is a new beginning, filled with promises, hope, and an opportunity to start over to whatever you need to begin in your, you know, up in the morning and down in the evening. I said that while your actions may have been wrong, they don't dictate your future unless you choose to let it dictate your future. Although they may have consequences, they don't have to have full, complete control of the rest of your life. Number four, do a good deed. Reaching out to others can often help the person who offers help as much as the person who receives it. Although you must understand that good deeds will not reverse your own actions and behaviours, they will help you move forward into a positive and bright future. Some studies have shown that even helping others has a wide range of benefits for your mental and physical health. Check with your local hospitals, charities and other organisations about volunteer opportunities. Even volunteering for a few hours per week may help you to overcome the skill. Or another, in other words, you can always distract yourself by doing something that you like doing. Five, incorporate a spiritual practice into your life. Some faith offers <clears throat> ways to atone for sinning, which may help you to deal with the feelings of guilt. Consider attending the service at a religious house of your choice and develop your own spiritual practice. The benefits of spirituality are beyond relieving feelings of guilt. Research has shown that spirituality and prayer may even help to relieve stress and decrease healing times during an illness. You can also consider going to a place of worship to pray with people, get into a meditation or yoga, spend time in nature and just admire the beauty of the natural world that's around us. Last but not least, number six. Consider seeking help from a therapist if you can and need to, if you can't move past your guilt on your own. For some people, guilt can interfere with daily life and happiness. Without help, it may be hard to understand your guilt and to determine the best way to deal with those feelings. A licensed mental health professional can help you to understand these feelings and help you work through them. Keep in mind that feeling excessively guilty may be part of an underlying mental health condition that may require treatment, though, however, but it is best to talk to a therapist to help you understand what is going on so you can get the right treatment and whatnot. So this quickly ends uh, how to overcome guilt. Give me a like, thumbs up for support, comment below, feel free to share this thing around, feel free to Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Like I said, because hopefully I'm going to do this on the very weekly of every day toddlers. Don't forget to also turn on the notification bell so that once new content comes in, hopefully you'll be able to just, you know, see it up there as a little gentle reminder so that it makes me happy to know that, you know, you're engaging with me one way or another, be it talking to me or whatever it may be. So, in all for the do, guys, thanks for the support, thanks for watching, do what you love, love what you do. Until next time, SB signing out, and I'll see you again soon. Ciao.